Hey, what's going on guys? Flickfy here, back with another episode of the Aston Villa career mode. I think we're up to episode number five of season two today. And coming off the last episode, I'm super excited because we picked up a couple of good wins. A 1-0 win against Juventus, that was huge and probably the biggest match of last episode. And then a win against Newcastle in the league, and then a win against Bournemouth in the Capital One Cup. We're looking to continue that form here in this episode. First, we're going to start with a match against Southampton in the league, and then we've got a match against Porto. Not sure if that's going to be home or away, but it will be a difficult match regardless. And then to round out the episode, we got a match against Stoke City. And if you guys are enjoying these face cam episodes, let me know down in the comment section below because I wouldn't mind doing it more often. It's really not a problem for me to set up and it's really up to you guys how often you see these face cam videos. Also, if you guys can leave a like on this video to support this series, that is always appreciated. But with all that said, let's get into the matches today. The team is looking rested and ready, so this is the lineup we're going to bring out against Southampton. Oh, what a through ball to Poulsen. And that's got to be a goal. Four minutes into the game, we split Southampton's defense. I was afraid the ref was going to call that back for a free kick. But no, an amazing through ball play to use of Poulsen. And just like that, we've got a 1-0 lead. It was Christian Benteke getting tugged on one side of his shirt, but you guys know he's so strong. So he's able to do a fantastic pass and an easy finish for Poulsen there. It's Poulsen. He's going to play this one through to Werner. See if he can send in a cross. And he just floats it up. And what a hit by Poulsen. The keeper was down. And that was not far off. Oh my goodness. The keeper's reaction. I don't know what was going on. That shot. That was so awkward. But it almost paid off. Oh, a through ball play to Roberto Firmino. He's got some space now. See if he can get by this defender. Scoots past one. Looking for that cross. And that's going to be an easy finish for Christian Benteke. Roberto Firmino just waited for the right opportunity. Picked Benteke out. And now it's 2-0. That should pretty much uh, clinch the, the victory for us. Desperation cross by Southampton. And it's going to fall to Davis. He's going to play it outside. Bertrand now. And again, an opportunity. And Pele... Puts it away. It's going to be 1-2. to We still got the lead here with five minutes left. We're going to go ultra defensive. And we'll see if we can hang on. A nice win there against Southampton. And more importantly, we were able to rest some of our key players in the second half. So now we should be ready for the match against Porto in the Champions Cup. This is going to be a huge match against Porto because they also won their first match. Meaning that we're tied at the top of the group table. And this is the team we're going to bring out for this match. Pretty strong lineup. Only a couple changes made. All right, we're going to have a shot with Gary Gardner. Oh my goodness, Fabiano able to stretch out and make that save. That was really one of our only good opportunities in this game. And I might just have to rely on those long shots. And maybe on the corner. Yeah, we actually get with Yedlin here. Let's have a go. That's going to take a deflection. We get another corner kick. I'm going to keep relying on shots from outside the box because we're not able to break down this poor defense otherwise. That's a good ball. Charisma is going to play it out wide to Quintero. We're going to defend that pretty well. And we're going to clear it out. Oh my goodness. Porto has still been all over us in this half. We've done a little bit more with a couple long shots on target. But still, neither team is really breaking through with a goal. Ooh. How the tides have turned now. A red card for Mikel. And this might turn around the match. There's 15 minutes left or right around that. And we might be able to go ahead and get a couple of counterattacks now. Oh my goodness. Look at all that space. It's Herman. He's got room in the center. He'll send in the cross. And what a save by Fabiano. It's a corner kick for us. He is keeping Porto in this match. And for some reason, they're going all out attack. Despite some late efforts by both teams, the match ends at a nil-nil draw. But to be completely honest, I'm happy with that result because they still need to play Juventus. And that's going to be a difficult game for them to win. So we might just end up being at the top of the group stage. The final match of the episode is going to be against Stoke City. Here's the lineup for the match. Poulsen on the ball. He's just got to get by this defender. He's going to have a shot. And can Benteke head that? Yes, he can, but he is off sides. Oh, that's a shame. And now Fabian Delph on the ball. He's going to have the hit from way out. I think that was just inches away. And it even took a deflection. Maybe had it not taken a deflection, it would have been more on target. But we come right back with Shar, and it's 1-0 now for us. 
And we are just really on form, guys. We're scoring goals, and we're playing well together. Anatovic just sent in the cross, and again, we're going to get this one out of here. Oh, no, we're not, because Sidwell's going to save it. And now Bojan has the space. He's going to put that away. Stoke City manages to tie things up. Oh, what a steal by Timo Werner. That might just be able to create a goal-scoring opportunity. The low cross just behind Benteke. Had it been a second earlier, I think that would have been a goal. Achabar on the ball. He's going to send in the great cross. That one cleared out. Can we get to it? Stoke City is just playing defense now. Look how many people they've got back. Benteke over to Herman. What can he do with it? He's going to try and go in that near post. Begovic with a good save. It's one last corner kick for us. And we brought people forward. Let's see if we can score on it. That's a pretty decent position on target. But Begovic able to get that ball. And that should be the final whistle. There it is. The match does end at another draw. And that's how the episode is going to come to an end today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. And until the next episode of this career mode, this has been Flickapie. I'll be talking to you all again soon. Jumping ahead several years, my store reaches an overall rating of 88 and a value of 34.5 million. Has that special something status, and he does manage to pick up a few specialties along the way. The dribbler and distance shooter specialties, which fit him.